Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Russell Teams here with Arizona Chiropractic Neurology Center. What I want to talk to you about today is digestive problems and your brain function. So you're probably asking, what does the brain have to do with the gut? Well, everything, really. One of the main things that we see with people with digestion problems is that they have brain fog as well. They have pain everywhere. They're tired and fatigued. They have food sensitivities. They just don't feel right all the time. And it seems like everything that they eat is a problem. Well, if you've ever experienced eating a piece of food or something you shouldn't be eating and you just feel crummy in the stomach or you even get brain fog, you're going to have a digestive problem and a brain problem. Now let's talk about this a little bit. One of the biggest misconceptions is what people don't understand is that there's one big nerve that goes from the bottom of the brain stem to the gut that's called the vagus nerve. This nerve controls and activates our entire digestive system. It also controls things like heart rate and rhythm, but today we're going to focus on the digestive system, okay? One thing that most people don't understand is that this vagus nerve is a two-way street. Information from the brain gets sent down the nerve to tell the gut what to do to digest our foods, to create enzymes to digest foods, to move the food along so that we can get rid of it. And all that information from the gut that it gets from the food and the chemicals and the enzymes and the toxins and the inflammation, if there is any, that gets sent right back up to the brain so that we know what's going on. There's multiple problems associated with this. When you don't have good brain function that fires to your gut, you don't make proper chemicals to break down your food. You don't move the food along appropriately. So you get stasis or uh, very, very bad gases and chemicals that are produced from this. So essentially, you're not breaking down your food, so you're not getting the nutrients from it, and it's staying in your body longer than you want it. This gives it a chance for small critters or small infections to brew. Uh, you can have yeast overgrowth and these things then create problems for the brain because it creates inflammation when there's things that shouldn't be in the body. It mounts an immune response. It attacks it and when this happens these sirens are going off and the inflammation is through the roof. Well when inflammation goes through the roof and you have leaky gut and or leaky brain you get brain fog you get all sorts of depression, anxiety, fatigue, any other symptoms that you can imagine can actually be coming from the gut. Now let's, let's address this here very quickly. Inflammatory foods are one of the first ways to start to break down your gut and give you poor digestion. All of our patients are counseled on what inflammatory foods are and what to avoid in the diet. Next we have breakdown of the gut barrier. How do we break down the gut barrier? Well, first, we talked about that vagus nerve that essentially breaks down the gut barrier when it's not working very well. So when you don't have a good brain, you don't have a good vagus nerve, you don't have a good gut barrier. That gut barrier then creates inflammation from inflammatory foods almost tenfold. So now you've got this gut that's on fire, okay, an inflammatory gut. When you have a gut that's on fire, you have a brain that's on fire. Let's recap this real quick. If you have poor foods that are going in and you're creating inflammation, that's creating breakdown of the gut, which is creating inflammation in the gut, and that in turn creates inflammation in the brain because this is a two-way street through the vagus nerve between the brain and the gut. So if you know anybody suffering from food sensitivities, constant digestive problems, brain fog, or fatigue, have them give us a call. We would love to help them out. Thanks for watching this video. This is Dr. Russell Team signing off.